This video is going to talk about how we can create some customized rules inside of the Geotab portal. Things like maybe having an email generated when a vehicle enters or exits a zone. So I'm going to go into rules and I'm going to go up to add. Now the first thing you're going to notice here is a new screen is going to pop up and it's going to allow me to name my rule to identify whatever I might want. So I can put in here email when leaving and maybe we'll just put an office, something like that. You can name this whatever you want. You can apply this to multiple groups if necessary. It all just kind of depends. I'm going to keep this pretty straightforward across the entire organization. So I can say, uh, send uh, Steve an email anytime a vehicle leaves the office. Condition. The first thing I have to do is I have to select, in this case, the zone. That is my identifier. This rule does not work without a zone. Now I have some options here. I can actually go in and pick a specific zone. In this case, I want strategic telecom solutions. That's one zone though. If I go and delete this zone down the road, that zone is gone and the rule doesn't work anymore. What I actually recommend is using zone types more often. I can come in here and select all of my office locations if necessary or any other zone type and I can say anytime they are exiting this location and I can hit add. So anytime a vehicle exits any zone consider the office type whether I add more or delete some in my system it won't matter. I can then go to notification and plug in and say you know whatever that email address needs to be and I'm going to hit save. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom where my rule will be stored and it's going to say email when leaving office. Send Steve an email anytime the vehicle leaves the office and it's for the entire organization. If I wanted to open this up later and go into the condition and maybe I decided maybe it's not anytime I exit, maybe it's every time I enter. I can actually go in and do a couple of things. I can click on the little paper icon here and I can go back and type in entering and you'll notice it changes here. I can also go back to my naming convention and change some of that. You know, just making some adjustments here based on the notes, whatever I want to do. And I can save that and uh, I will have that information all saved down here at the bottom. So again, now email when enter office. Maybe I want to make a rule that says I want to receive an email anytime I enter or leave any VIP location. So now I have two different events happening. So let me go up and add that rule. So I'm going to go back up at the top. I'm going to click on add and I'm going to say uh, enter or exit VIP. I'm going to just make this kind of short. Maybe email manager, something to that effect condition. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and click add zone and I'm going to pick my zone type. In this case, again, I'm going to go after maybe VIP. Maybe I have all of my um, specific VIP locations are going to be uh, banks in that case or, or maybe just customers. And I'm going to pick on entering. And I'm going to hit add. Now, this is where you can do this a couple of different ways. I'm going to show you the easiest way I think to be able to do this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go back in and go add zone or zone type. I'm going to go back in and pick the exact same thing, customer. But in this case, I'm going to pick exiting. And now if you read this rule, it says anytime an area, anytime a vehicle is entering the customer area and exiting the customer area. To most people, that might sound perfect. When you talk about syntax and code, that actually is incredibly impossible to do. Really what it's saying is, I want to receive an email, in this case, anytime a vehicle enters and at the very exact same moment exits a location. You can't be coming in and going out at the same time. So what I need to do is move this from an AND statement to an OR statement. Now there's an option under MORE where you can go down and actually find the AND OR logic here. I actually find it's easier to just go in and click on the little paper icon again and change the syntax code just by going in removing AND and typing in with a capital O R and now you'll find that I get my OR up in there. That's all it takes. Then from there I can go to notification 
click add email and add anyone I want. And then I can hit save. And again, if I scroll down to the bottom, now I have my enter or exit VIP, or in this case, we just pick customer. Might be a great way. Uh, I've seen a lot of customers use this where send me an email anytime I leave a VIP location or send my account manager an email anytime a vehicle leaves uh, a VIP location so they can follow up back with that customer and just make sure that they're receiving the right level of service. How did that stop go? Was my driver doing what they should have been? All those things, just really an extra touch point there. Really great uh, options depending on what you want. So I'm going to go back up to add and just talk about some of the other features that are available in here. So I think this is pretty straightforward, being able to select your time um, and uh, adding any notes, uh, naming your uh, rules, whatever that is. But under condition, this is where a lot of the work is really going to be done. If you want to add engine information, that's going to all be listed under here. Um, you know, if you're monitoring seatbelt or gear position for custom rules, this can become a little intricate. Again, I highly recommend talking to a trainer if you get involved in some of these things. Um, adding zone, we talked about whether it's an individual zone you could pick up, inside, outside, stopped. You can also add durations. So maybe what we want to do is say anytime I am at the uh, strategic telecom office and I'm inside of that zone for maybe longer than, uh, let's just say, 30 minutes, now I'm considered breaking a rule. Maybe I'm stopped too long there. That might be something I want to set up. A couple of different options. And again, under notifications, I can go through and set that up. You can add distances. Um, so maybe I want to say, anytime a vehicle uh, travels for a certain distance, that might be something I want to monitor. I'm going to actually uh, save this, go through and add an additional rule here that might be helpful. And I'm just going to say, stopped too long. Not really big. The next rule I want to talk about is so a lot of customers will actually talk about how do I add speeding with the duration? This is actually a pretty common question. So maybe what I want to do is set up speeding um, greater, greater than 10 miles an hour for greater than 10 seconds. Now maybe, maybe that's the actual threshold I want to allow for my drivers. I can go into conditions. I can select speed and I can say over a certain speed limit or under a certain speed limit or over the speed limit by a certain amount, which is what we want in this case. I'm going to hit add and I'm now going to add a duration of 10 seconds. And I'm going to hit add again. And you'll actually notice if I go and look at the syntax, it's actually looking at the value of the speed and the duration here, which is going to be very helpful. So a couple of different options there to just keep in mind. Again, I can save this. And now I actually have, if I scroll down to the bottom, speeding for greater than 10 miles for greater than 10 seconds. It allows me a little bit more buffer there. If I wanted, maybe I even want to go back up and say, well, now that I have that in place, maybe speeding isn't such a big deal. I can turn this off. Again, I don't really care because at any moment I can go back and turn this on completely. That way I don't have duplicate rules providing me exceptions when I really only care about the one for 10 plus 10 over. Again, I preface all this with saying if you have any questions, using the live chat support is going to be really helpful to be able to go in and actually communicate with our support team, whether you want to set up a training call or just have some basic questions about what you're trying to do.